I am like a huge animal lover myself. I'm a pet lover. I have, uh, I have a dog in my home back in India. I know how it feels. When I got to know that I could use my technical skills in order to transform the lives of the pets, then I, I, I was over the moon. A lot of rescues are built really quickly. Secondhand Hounds, you know, has been around for a long time, but we see a need and we want to help right away. Prior to the St. Thomas Project, we didn't have a super automated way of looking at this data. We weren't doing as much data analytics as we probably could have been. The data was coming in was very manually um, organized and it was a lot of work for our surrender coordinator to go through and filter it all and figure out why people were surrendering. We started this project with them to better help them be able to preempt surrendering of pets by owners. If they can analyze their data, they'll find out factors that makes uh, people want to surrender pets, which they can now try to mitigate and reduce surrender applications. Most people who come to us would love another option besides surrender, that it's a really difficult decision that they've come to. And if given an opportunity, they would take a resource and, and go a different route and keep their pet. The way that the St. Thomas Project has helped us is be able to intake all of the information that people are giving us. So when someone applies online to surrender an animal, they're giving us a lot of detail, right? The specific situation for that dog or cat, the specific situation for that home. Almost everything we've touched on in class prepared us properly for this project. And we used a lot of cloud technologies, we used a lot of programming languages. We're always looking for projects in the real world where students can apply whatever they have learned in the class and uh, go and solve a real world problem. The advantage of this in terms of student learning is that when a student goes through these kind of real world problem solving, when they apply for a job, they've already seen some of the challenges. We are trying to change lives of these pets. So we got to see that firsthand how good this change is going to bring. It, like it was like as life-changing for us as for them. For every animal that we can you know, mitigate a surrender on, that's one more open foster home for an animal that doesn't have an advocate, that doesn't have a loving family already, which is huge, and keeping families together, so it's a win-win.